We're not far from the start of the college basketball season with Minot State hoping for its third straight top four finish in the Northern Sun. Our Tristan Thomas has more. Minot State men's basketball replaces four of its top five point scorers after finishing with a 15 and 10 record a season ago. When you get a lot of new guys, you kind of got to figure out whose role is what role. Just time, I guess that's the only way to figure it out is like repetition, seeing where your shots are going to come from, and that's how you're going to figure it out. With all the work that we've put in over the summer, um, we're, we're all ready to kind of take the next step that we've been that we've been from previous years. Um, some people might have been role players or reserve players that are stepping into starting spots or there's some transfers that have been kind of propped into higher minute categories on the team. The position group that might look the most different is the Beavers' front court, including seven-foot big man Calvin Sisk joining the roster after redshirting last season. There's not a lot of 7'2 guys walking around, so if you see one in my not, it's probably Calvin Sisk. Say hi to him, wish him good luck, but he's got to learn to use that uh, use that height and be an impact in the uh, protecting the rim you know, on offense or tipping rebounds on offense or chasing them on defense and uh, just using that size and uh, using using his strength. The younger roster played four exhibition games in Canada this August, learning valuable lessons about closing out games. We're really locked into, like, we need to keep a high attention to detail and we need to keep our uh, foot on the gas in the second half and not just let off and let, let little things slip and, and stuff that can cause games. So I think those two games at Winnipeg that we won at the end, um, we did a good job down the stretch um, holding our lead and kind of keeping our composure. In my not, I'm Tristan Thomas for KX Sports. MSU opens the season with a pair of games in the Central Missouri Tournament, playing the host school November 11th in the first of two games before returning home.